Yeah, man, 2020 has been trash for a while now. COVID had a shook on subways and sidewalks. Millions wore filters hoping to find a better, safer way to breathe. Meanwhile, black men everywhere scoffed and discussed like we had a choice in the first place. George Floyd did it, and that was the boiling point for damn near everyone. There were protests, riots, looting, and lots of folks with their hands in their pockets searching frantically for their moral compasses. But finally, <laughs> just when we all thought that hope was lost, basketball decided to make a comeback. Yo, NBA Twitter. You just got through the first leg of a worldwide pandemic. Racism is being cured in under 280 characters and you just watched the last dance for like the fourth straight time. What are you gonna do now? We're going to Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> Goofy. Right now the NBA is trying to salvage the season by sliding to Orlando, but Kyrie Irving and a host of others just aren't in a mood for games. Kyrie said, I'm willing to give up everything I have for social reform, and that's definitely been the price of admission. Ask Mahmoud or Maya Moore. The WNBA will pick up next month, but she'll be on sabbatical for the second straight season, standing behind the wrongly convicted. Listen, it takes a different type of cat to put their career on the line. Uncle Drew is the new Craig, fighting with his hands, going toe to toe with the status quo. No, no. Not that one, <laughs> this one. Another cat who was a baller turned martyr is Craig Hodges. After the Bulls won in 92, he pulled up to the White House in a dashiki and gave President George H.W. Bush a letter, encouraging him and his staff to do more for the black community. The year before, after watching the Rodney King beating, he asked MJ and Magic to boycott the finals in protest. Jordan said, well, <laughs> you can imagine what Jordan said. And Magic said it was too extreme, but was he? The story is all too familiar, but if it really went down, man. For one, the economy would fill it. For some, that's a protest in itself. Will it happen? Who knows? But the fact that the coalition is putting up a fight speaks volumes. The protesting in the streets find its way to the front offices. It's working. Ball or no ball, I'm sure after this, we'll see a whole lot more change in the near future. For real. After this, keep scrolling. It's like a PR epiphany on the timeline right now. It's why? Damn. Look at white America finally starting to admit that a knife was there. I can't wait for the new band-aids to drop. If you stick a knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches, there's no progress. Mm -hmm. You pull it all the way out, that's not progress. The progress is healing the wound that the blow, that the blow made. And they haven't even begun to pull a knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, you have they no won't even admit the knife is there. <laughs>